when when people talk to you, sometimes I know they say, Jordan, I, I, I get the same thing. Why are you always so negative? Why are you so negative? And I, I just, I don't have much to say to folks like that. I mean, they, they mean well, but they don't get it. They don't understand. There's nothing wrong with reality. Reality is certainly composed of many different facets and flavors and, and colors. And you can choose what you want to do. But in general, folks, we're, we're all on a train and we're, we're headed to the concentration camp of life, which has been created and constructed for us very carefully over a long period of time. Henry Ford saw it coming. Many saw it coming. And they tried to, uh, Lindbergh saw it coming, and they tried to warn people. Uh, it didn't work. So what we do here is what Jordan does there, and, and we try to bring you as much of reality as we can. I'm not going to present to you things that I know to be patently skewed or false and say this is the way it really is because it isn't and i'll do my best always to present reality i won't even use the word truth i'll just call it reality and the reality of it is we are beyond oppressed suppressed and subjugated right now financially the average credit card debt in each home is over twenty five thousand, probably close to 30 now uh, these people are never going to get out of debt. Look at the student loan, the crime of student loans, which is exactly what it is. It's slavery. Go ahead, Jordan. Yeah, well, you know, in the Old Testament, I think it was the book of Isaiah, uh, one of the Old Testament books, interesting, uh, the, the people came to the prophet and said, uh, why don't you ever prophesy anything happy for us? Why is it every time you come to town, with your prophecies, you always prophesy doom and gloom. Why can't you prophesy something happy and nice for us? And I think, you know what, the more we change, the more we stay the same. That's what most Americans will th- say. Well, why don't you th- look at the bright side? There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And I said, yes, it's a train coming, airhead. Can't you understand what's happening to you and don't you see? And, the, and of course, in the New Testament, the Apostle Paul even said to the Christians of his day, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? This is the <laughs> problem that, that we have to deal with. Not mm-hmm. only are we <clears throat> people who are trying to awaken their fellow man, uh, like uh, Stanley Kubrick did in his movie Eyes Wide Shut, is trying to explain to you, you're looking at the world with your eyes wide shut. And... Um, so that's the problem people like, like you and I have to confront, is people say, well, can't you, you know, why don't you prophesy something happy and nice instead of always telling us what the truth and looking around? Well, there's not much, you know, there's not much to, uh, to praise now when our great government, our great freedoms are all gone and our constitution is there's nothing more than, a, and George Bush Jr. said, it's just a damn piece of paper. Uh, so I'm just trying to awaken my fellow man to do some homework and start reading, studying, and uh, understanding how the world works. Because We're not enough, telling people to give up. We're telling no, them to I'm wake up, that's understand, wake up. at least exactly. know, know, know the limitations that have been placed on you so you can be better able to have a chance at eking out a comfortable living for those you care about and yourself. Uh, you know. Of course. Not only do you have to face, and not only you know this as well as I do, not only do uh, people have to face, like us, have to face the, the dark forces uh, around the world that are arrayed against uh, truth and light and decency. Uh, you know, there's a whole world of business out there selling arms and guns and and armaments, and uh, war is good business. That's why you need to invest your son. And so not only are we uh, 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 have all this stuff against us to start with, but then even within your own friendships and within your own family and with a man's, uh, man's enemies would be those of his own household. And uh, the scripture talks about how brother will be against brother and people will turn you in thinking they're doing it for God. This is what's happening today. The worst problems I've ever had are with people who call themselves religious and call themselves my friend, 
and turn out to be you know, gangsters and criminals. And so uh, I, I'm just amazed how how much is arrayed against anyone who is trying to do something to help the human race. Today, if you stick your head up and say, I want to do something to help, then you will either go to jail, you will pay a her- you'll pay one hell of a price to do. I'm telling you, you will pay a very dear price to try and help people, uh, you know, free themselves from this system. You're going to pay a price because the powers that be do not want this kind of knowledge out. George, uh, what was his name, uh, Carlin, you know, talked a lot about this stuff. He was very articulate on it. And so I see the problem as education, knowledge. Knowledge is power, and the people have no education as to how the world works and where we're going and where we've come from and how it all works. And as long as you don't know, you can't do anything. You don't know your options because you have no idea in the world what's going on with government, you know, how any of this stuff works. Yeah, Yeah. knowledge is the most powerful commodity of all. I I don't know who it was that first told me this or where I saw it written, but it, it simply said, knowledge is the most powerful commodity on the planet the powers that be will let a little bit of it out from time to time to stimulate, and then when they want control, they'll reel it back in. That's right. And they divert exactly. divert the masses into the sports and beer and drugs. And we got one suicide plus. It's over one per day now in the American military, and that yeah. that that limit's going to go up. They are expecting 150,000 men and women who have served to commit suicide ultimately before their natural deaths in their lifetime. And it's going up all the time. It's all well, its all by design, folks. Nothing is left to chance. Nothing. Nothing. And, uh, and of course, uh, you know, I would suggest people go. Uh, I've gotten a lot of phone calls, a lot of uh, emails you know, about my situation I'm having to deal with. And I've, I've been dealing with stuff like this for years. So I would suggest going to my website. There's a lot of material on my website. But I would like to also say there's no need for anyone to buy or purchase anything off of my website for two very good reasons. One, obviously, uh, everything on my website for sale is already out on the web for free. So why pay anything to watch something you can watch for free? So I would suggest nobody buy anything off of my website. It's all out there on YouTube. Uh, Watch it for, for nothing. And second of all, of course, I don't own my website has been taken from me so any money that come into that website do not go to me i haven't seen anything off of my website in over two and a half years period nothing i don't get anything and so but the reason why is i don't control my website somebody else has taken it and so uh, i would suggest don't buy anything just go to the website and you know check out the work i've been doing for the past 50 years but I wouldn't suggest buying anything because it's all out there for free, and I'm not going to see any of it anyway. <clears throat> so hopefully one day I will be able to get my website back and my business back and my world and my life back. And because I've got so much more, I want to talk to people about and show that uh, just I I have like a one half of a terabyte waiting to put new stuff on uh-huh. my website. Uh-huh. An enormous amount of stuff I have. Just sitting and waiting, uh, you know, for to be able to put new stuff on my website. So hopefully I'll get it back soon, and uh, and there's going to be a lot of interesting things happening this coming year. Uh, I'm looking at this 2012 thing. My feeling about this 2012 December is nothing more than a, I mean, in my opinion, I think it's a, it's a big uh, bunch of nothing. It's, uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised that the CIA is in on just like they were. On oh, the I, come on. Uh, you bet. The odds are they are. Sure. Yeah. What is it? The uh, uh, Y2K? You know, in, the whole any social phenomenon, together. any geopolitical phenomenon, that just don't happen unless no. they're controlled. And if they do, they're immediately penetrated and co-opted. That's it. So that's why I don't think there's going to be anything happening like the end of the world. But I do think people are going to begin to awaken to the fact that they've been had. And when they do, they're going to discover how far gone it really is, and then it's going to be seriously evil. It's going to be very, very serious. Because when people finally wake up and find out how much they've lost, 
and how far behind they are and what's going on in their very in this country it's going to be chaos because they you know people are going to be screaming in the streets for freedom it's going to be over they've lost their country they've lost their freedom and now of course with the drugs and all the crime we're just losing our minds so i've always been out there just trying to tell people go you know go inside go back to the spiritual roots Learn how to read, how to think, and get out of the system. Learn how to educate yourself and ask the right questions. Thank God we have uh, you know, programs like this, Jim, that we can at least talk about. Well, we, we try and help. Them. We, uh, we bless that opportunity every day. Yep. I uh, hope it lasts. I appreciate that you're allowing me to be on the show. And thank everyone. And Always. Do email me, my email. <clears throat> is Jordan Maxwell at gmail.com but the Jordan has no A Jordan without the A Jordan Maxwell at gmail.com okay that's J-O-R-D-N Maxwell at gmail.com so drop Jordan a line and tell him hello he'd love to hear from you and we wish you the best in getting your site back and let's get the rest of that information out there Jordan right all right, be well. Thank you. Okay. Jordan Maxwell, and uh, thanks for being here Friday night. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll be with you, of course, at rents.com around the clock and back Sunday night for our encore. Talk soon. <laughs>